You can, I love your hat. We're headed to the beach today? Yes. Hope you remembered your sunscreen, you can. Oh, you don't need sunscreen with feathers. I never knew. Okay guys, make sure you put your name on top and let's head on out. <laughs> The only thing as exciting as going to the beach is multiplication. Don't agree with me yet? Let's find out. So you can has an I can for us. By the end of today, you can wants you to understand multiplication. And he wants you to understand it by thinking about equal groups. This equal word is really important. In multiplication, if your groups aren't equal, it's just not going to work. Ah, the beach. What are you looking for, you can? Equal groups at the beach? Oh, hey, you were right. Check it out. Three starfish. Those are equal groups. One, two, three starfish with one, two, three, four, five points. Three groups of five. So how many groups? That's right, we had three groups. And how many points were in each of those starfish? Or how many items were in each of those groups? There were five. I can write an equation or a number sentence to show what I just did. I've got three groups or three starfish with five points. Now I need to figure out the answer. One way I could figure out how many points I have all together is I could count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I know that three groups of five is going to give me fifteen. Sometimes counting takes too long. If we had lots of equal groups, it might take us a long time to count. So another way we can figure out how many items are in our equal groups is by adding, because that's what multiplication is. It's just repeated addition. So I could add five plus five is 10, plus another five is 15. And the last way is you can's very favorite. And it's when we count by the number of items in our equal group. For instance, because I've got five items or five points on one star, I can count by fives until I get to the end of my groups. Five, 10, 15. Ah, the beach again. You can, you think you can find some more equal groups? Oh look. You did! Some dragonflies! There are one, two, three, four, five dragonflies. And each dragonfly has one, two, three, four wings. That's five groups of four. Or five times four. 
So how many groups were there? That's right, there were five groups. And how many items in each group? Four, because each dragonfly had four wings. I can write my equation or my number sentence that tells the story. Five dragonflies, four wings on each. Five groups of four. Then I can choose counting, adding, or counting by to help me solve. I'm gonna do counting by because that's my personal favorite. Four, eight, 12, 12 plus four is 16, 16 plus four is 20. I just counted by fours, so now I know that five groups of four must be 20. Check out this number sentence or equation down here. Did you know that each part of this number sentence has a name? The seven and the five are called factors. Seven's a factor and five is a factor. The answer to a multiplication problem is called a product. We can read this as 7 times 5 equals 35, but did you know that this multiplication symbol can also be read by saying groups of? Because that's what multiplication is. So I can read this 7 groups of 5 equals 35. The beach again, and there's that pencil. That means it's your turn to give it a try. You can? What are you eating over there? Watermelon? Oh. And check it out. Your watermelon has five seeds. Right now on your sheet of paper where there's a pencil, I want you to draw a picture that shows the number sentence seven times five equals 35. Give it a shot. Pause the video. You can and I went ahead and drew in the sand and we drew seven watermelons because we know we have seven groups of something. So I'm going to draw my seven watermelons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the nice thing about when we visualize or draw pictures for math is it doesn't have to be perfect. So I've got seven groups of five seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw five seeds in each of my watermelons. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's a lot of watermelon seeds. You can wants me to remind you not to swallow watermelon seeds. Could grow a plant. Okay, let's see how many watermelon seeds we have all together. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Makes sense. Seven groups of five equals 35. Pat yourself on the back. Bummer guys, it's time to leave the beach. I know you're sad, but the good news is you can think about multiplication all night if you want to. But before you leave, make sure you jot down any questions you have or any exciting thoughts you have in this space below so that you can share your thoughts, your questions with your teacher or another person in your class. Okay, thanks for joining you, Ken and I. We'll see you next time. Ha, ha, ha.